to me, the biggest surprise in my market in the last six months has been the reintroduction of secured bond issuance peri pursu to the term loans in company capital structures. A secured portion of a capital structure is the portion of a company's debt capital structure that is secured by the assets of the company. So it's the top of the capital structure, meaning it gets paid back first in the event of a bankruptcy. Generally speaking, the secured portion of a company's capital structure is about the top 40% or so. That's usually a term loan. A term loan is basically like a bond, but it's secured and you pay down a little bit of it every year and the coupon is floating instead of fixed. Sometimes there'll be a secured bond in that same portion of that 40%. When you see that happening, the secured bond is similar to a loan, but it is a fixed coupon. It has a fixed maturity. It has a fixed bullet at maturity, meaning it pays off only at the end. It has what's called call protection, meaning it can't pay off early, but it is still in that same top 40% secured position like a term loan would be. And when the term loan and the secured bond are in the same position as one another, in the same security, that's what's called peri pursu. So they're equal to one another in the event of a bankruptcy, those claims would be equal to each other. They'd go into the same pot. So most of the time, that top 40% that we talked about, the secured portion is usually done entirely by term loans. Sometimes, and now is one of those times, we see that top 40% of the capital structure or even more of the capital structure becoming a combination of term loans and secured bonds. Reasons for that. Sometimes high yield unsecured managers, so folks who buy high yield bonds, um, still wanna buy the bonds of that company, but let's say it's in a tumultuous credit market. They'd still like to buy the bonds of that company, but they really would like to have a little bit more security. They feel better about it. So there's a chart that shows the secured bond issuance over time, over the course of the last several years in proportion to the whole secured market issuance. And you can see, for instance, in 2020 amid COVID, Companies were still lending, they were still issuing bonds, but those bonds were becoming secured rather than unsecured, which denotes that high yield managers, all else equal, would want a secured bond in that event. So that secured bond is really taking the place of maybe some of the term loan or maybe some of the high yield unsecured bond. And there are many reasons why a company would wanna do this as well. So we talked about loans versus secured bonds. Secured bonds are generally peri pursu with the loans. So they sit equal to each other. So you would say, well, geez, if the secured bond sits peri pursu with the term loan and they're both secured by the exact same pool of assets and in bankruptcy, they're treated exactly the same. They're both first in line. Why would one yield more than the other? It's a great question because academically speaking, they should yield the same. But when they don't and when the loan is a better yield than the secured bond, it's often because the loan has fewer natural buyers than the bond does, thus making the bond tighter because it's more demanded. It could be the case that current floating rate, which dictates the term loans coupon is high, but folks think that that floating rate is gonna come down in the future to a level that's going to make the term loan less attractive than the bond. Or the third reason would be the term loan doesn't offer the protection for as many years at that nice coupon as the bond does. These are all reasons where someone might choose to go into the bond instead of the term loan. And as a result, the term loan's going to yield more than the bond because the demand for the bond is higher. It all really comes down to mostly the investors who can buy both of these instruments, term loans or bonds, are really thinking about how much is this going to pay me today? How much is it going to pay me a year from now? And am I okay with the trade-off of getting less today for a consistent coupon later or getting more today and potentially have that fluctuate with the floating rate? The vast majority of the time, high yield bonds yield more than term loans. On the occasion where a term loan is going to yield more than a high yield bond, we would seek to take advantage of that difference. Alternatively, 
in those times where a term loan yields more, but there is a secured bond available for whatever reason yielding less, we would then consider for the portfolios that can buy secured bonds, why we would buy a secured bond with a smaller yield and potential return than a loan, given all of the reasons we discussed, including but not limited to what our rate forecast is in the future.